This video describes a new procedure added to Stack Graphics 19 to perform quantile regression. The data for a quantile regression consists of a quantitative dependent variable y and multiple quantitative or categorical factors x. The goal is prediction of quantiles for the distribution of y given specified values of x. This contrasts with ordinary least squares. The goal is the prediction of the mean. The data I want to model today is the birth weight of a 189 babies born at the Bay State Medical Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. I want to build a model relating the quantiles of birth weight to various characteristics of the mothers. Let's start by looking at the data. To do that, I'm going to go to Statlet's interactive histogram. Birth weight is the column I'm interested in. And there you see the data, together with some summary statistics. The mean birth weight was about 2,945 grams, with a standard deviation of 729. I put a non-parametric density estimator on top of that histogram, you'll see that the distribution is fairly symmetric. I'm now going to run the quantile regression. To do so, I'll go to Relate, Multiple Factors, Quantile Regression. Notice that the quantile regression procedure accesses a library in R which must be installed before you can run this procedure. On the data input dialog box, I'll specify birth weight as the dependent variable. The independent predictive variables are race, smoker, hypertension, irritability, those four are categorical, and then weight, is a quantitative factor. The analysis options dialog box will give me a choice of methods to use to estimate the model and also to estimate the standard errors. I'll just take the defaults. On the next screen I'll have a choice of tables and graphs to create. I'll ask for an analysis summary, a quantile plot, and a coefficient. program will now call R which will fit quantile regression model. Let's start by looking at the analysis summary. A model has been fit here for each of seven quantiles. 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.9, and 0.95. For each quantile, there is a table of coefficients. There are two indicator variables for race, one for smoker, one for hypertension, one for irritability, and then a standard quantitative coefficient on the quantitative variable weight. In the table, you see the estimated coefficients, standard errors, t-tests, and p-values for each of the coefficients. Any p-value less than 0.05 indicates a statistically significant non-zero coefficient at the 5% significance level. Now let's make some graphs of the fitted model. I'm going to go first to the plot of estimated quantiles. This plot show you the estimated quantiles with respect to any one factor, all the other factors held constant at a particular level. You can see in this case that the estimated quantiles are a little higher for race 1 than they are for races 2 or 3. I can also identify which points on my graph correspond to other categorical factors by going up to highlight on the ribbon menu. If you'd like to see smokers, for example, 
I can click on smoker. Actually, that smoker equals zero. And you can see relatively high birth rates. If I change to smoker equal one, birth rates tend to be a little lower. I can also select pain options and change the factor which is plotted on the x-axis. Now you can see how the estimated quantiles change with respect to weight. What I find most interesting in this particular plot is that the effect of the mother's weight on the weight of the baby is different at some quantiles than it is at others. For example, look at Q5, the low end of the birth weight distribution. There's relatively little effect of mother's weight on birth weight. On the other hand, by the time you get up to Q50, that's the median, then there tends to be a significant positive correlation between birth weight and mother's weight. This is what makes quantile regression different than ordinary least squares. In ordinary least squares, all of these lines would be parallel because the effect of weight would be the same at each of the quantiles. There's one more plot I want to look at, and that's the coefficient plot. This particular plot shows the estimated coefficients as a function of quantile. Actually, let me change the color of that quantile line. Perhaps I'll make it black so it'll be a little bit easier to see. Here are the estimated quantiles for, in this case, factor race equal 2 with 95% confidence intervals. The horizontal line on the plot, incidentally, is the ordinary least squares estimate of the coefficient with 95% confidence limits shown as horizontal. What you notice is that the estimated coefficients at each of the quantiles, with the possible exception of the 75th, percentile stay within the confidence limits for the ordinary least squares estimate. That indicates that there's really not much of a significant difference between the coefficients with respect to that particular variable. Let's use paint options though to change to weight and now I'll press OK. And what's interesting here is that you can see throughout the center of the distribution, there's not much difference in the coefficients. The slope is about the same for weight at all of the quantiles from 0.1 up to about 0.9. On the other hand, at 0.05 and 0.95, those are the extreme tails of the distributions. The coefficient is actually much less, much closer to zero. Weight does not have as much effect in the tails of the distribution than it does in the center.